Okay, I'm just testing four times 80 watt panels there. There's only two there, but that's the same got the garden. Four there. And basically that's my in Nexus grid tie inverter, which is powering the ones up the garden. So basically these four panels on this and they're joining 7.8 amps so short of 8 amps so that's 4 times 80 that's uh, 320 watts so that's those four and then those four <clears throat> which is equivalent to four of them and coming here is on that so basically the cheap one, which is there, is producing 196 watts, and the Nexus, which are professional grid tie inverters, is actually producing 187. I can see that 187. So actually, the cheap inverter sitting there is actually producing a high efficiency. Despite, yes, I do know they're mono and these are poly. And as I say, there's I'm not running off of these, I'm running out the garden. You can just about see on the right, there's four. So there's four poly 80 watt Christine panels there, and there's four mono. Now, the mono, as I say, are running this one, and those four poly are running in Nexus, and the Nexus. Let's have another look. That Nexus is running at 100 and you can't see that 180 watts. And the cheap Chinese one is running at 194, so it's actually still putting out more power. But having said that, oh, I'll just quickly spin around this. I did get for my two in Nexus inverters, because normally I have all that connected up. Um, so a potential 640 watts. I actually did peak at 608. That's very good. I think you can see that. Hold it there. 608. Let's put that back down to watts. So it's 170, 177, and that's 196, 195, six. As I say, the only difference is obviously is that's uh, that's mono, and these ones are poly. But as I say, don't be fooled because these are powering my battery. Then they're not actually on the test, but it's four of those up the garden there. So uh, I'm actually very happy, and, I, and, I, and um, what I found out is that's. Uh, let's go back out and have a look. The fan's going now. Um, 7.9 amps, and this is a. Um, sorry, it's over this side. 28 to 52 volts, and I've got another one of these, 12 to 28. And actually, the, the, this this version is much more efficient and runs much more better. Seven point nine two, seven point eight eight amps, and I come back behind the panels. That's the Nexus inverter, which is powering. You can't really see it. That's powering the ones up the garden. And these panels, I can see them. You probably won't see it, but I'll tell you the reading. They peak. Well, they're five point one five amps, so a potential just ten amps. Because obviously they're connected in series. So quickly, so I'm a little check in here. So the cheap Chinese inverter, under ninety-nine, and your Nexus. 181, 178. 
cheap Chinese one. 197. There you go. So they're actually putting out more more power. Um, and this is obviously the other one I've got. Exactly the same. They're actually very good inverters. The only difference being is obviously this one is uh, 14 to 28 volts. It's exactly the same. And actually, as I said, this, because obviously the voltage is lower, um, put my shoes back on to go outside, because the voltage is lower, it's actually less efficient. But they're exactly the same. As you can see, they're all exactly the same, it's just the voltage. So it actually does help. And as you can see, that's 14 to 28, and that's 28 to 52, but other than that, exactly the same. What's he pulling in now? 7.7 .7 amps? 7.7 .7 amps? Sorry about all the camera shake. Uh, that's dropped 146. Can't see it down there, but I'll tell you that's 172 and that one's 145. So it's still ahead. So if you are going to buy one, firstly, this model is actually very good, and secondly, I would go for the 28 to 52 volt one because um, higher voltage, less amps, and I think it's the amps they peak at a they seem to peak around the eight, nine amps, and obviously nine amps at 24 volts will give you more power than nine amps at um, 12 volts. So if you are going to get one, I would, I would go for the higher voltage one. But other than that, I'm, I'm very happy. Very, very good inverters. Okay, so we're currently on 200, but I'm going to... still see it, it's dropping a little bit because it's going behind the cloud. 237 volts at the moment in the house, 7.3 amps. Hertz 51, but this is this Hertz. I won't wipe out because it these meters are not that great on Hertz, they seem to struggle even when you plug it into the mains. I mean, you wouldn't have 57 Hertz because now you well, you certainly wouldn't have 60, you'd be in problem now. So, this this meter doesn't measure Hertz very well because you never have 66 Hertz in the house, it's 50, you'd have a drastic uh, um, problems. Um, that's a low, so it actually peaked at 215, 215 watts, just 0.1. From 216, so I'm very happy that 216 watts. Uh, put it back to power, currently at 52. Right, so we're at 51, and the sun's gone in. And the Nexus is at, well, you can't see it, 47. So the Nexus is still lagging behind. You wouldn't have thought that, would you? 48, oh, I'll tell you the Nexus is showing 49, 49 the Nexus is showing, 47 here, so it's very, very similar. And yeah, it's going again outside there, running away. Very good. So my next test will be two of those in parallel on the 12 volt version two in series on on this one that's going to be my next test and then that's fair then isn't it because then you're using mono uh, uh, polycrystalline panels and you're using two of the same and all you're doing is actually altering the voltage that would be my next test about um i like to upload that when i've done that and that'll give you a true showing of the reading but i do believe as i said uh the, the 28 to 52 voltage is much more efficient than the um uh, 12, I can't remember the voltage now, I think it's 12 to 28, isn't it? Yeah, no, 14 to 28. So, um, yeah, but other than that, they're good inverters. 